Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the Managing Director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing backlog issues associated with immigrant spouse visas in the CR1 or IR1 visa category. And the reason for the video is there was a recent announcement in the, well, it was an announcement on USCIS.gov from the USCIS's website and it's, the announcement is titled, USCIS announces new actions to reduce backlogs, expand premium processing, and provide relief to work permit holders. Quoting directly, today the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service is announcing a trio of efforts to increase efficiency and reduce burdens to the overall legal immigration system. USCIS will set new agency-wide backlog reduction goals, expand premium processing to additional form types, and work to improve timely access to employment authorization documents. Quoting further, to reduce the agent's pending caseload, USCIS is establishing new inter internal cycle time goals this month. These goals are internal metrics that guide the backlog reduction efforts of the USCIS workforce and affect how long it takes the agency to process cases. As cycle times improve, processing times will follow, and applicants and petitioners will receive decisions on their cases more quickly. USCIS will increase capacity, improve technology, and expand staffing to achieve these new goals by the end of fiscal year 2023. Expand staffing is, I think, going to be probably where the rubber hits the road and we're really going to see some kind of major changes. Now, bearing in mind the backlogs right now on the immigrant visa, spouse visa process aren't as bad as the K visas. They just aren't. Uh, I don't know, well, I do know why, because Trump deprioritized K-1s and he, he actually, in a way, they did an executive order that prioritized the immigrant spouse visas. So those are moving a little more quickly. Now, certainly it's good news that we're seeing them expand these, do these metrics that will, you know, these cycle times to, to get this down. But bear in mind, when you're dealing with an immigrant spouse visa, that means you're dealing with the National Visa Center. And the National Visa Center, in my opinion, it's a bit of a quagmire. It can slow things down in any case. In fact, I think it could slow down a race car if it wanted to. So, yes, while it's a good thing on the USCIS side of the ledger that we may be seeing petitions processed even more quickly, on the NVC side of the ledger, I don't see anything changing. So, overall processing time with respect to immigrant spouse visas, maybe they'll be improved, but I'm not exactly going to hold my breath 